this is Rajiv Kohli and welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial I will show you that how you can create animated walk pose in PowerPoint 2016 using any kind of pictures which has different walk pose let me show you from the beginning uh, and a year ago about any year ago I have published a video on how to create an animated scene in PowerPoint 2016 and here I have shown a character walking along and a lot of viewers asked me that how you had created this animated walk pose character in PowerPoint 2016 and that is what our tutorial is all about. So in this tutorial I will show you all the steps from the beginning that how you can take different pictures and can convert them into animated walk pose. And for that let me open Google first in a different tab. And here I will search for walk poses and you can type PNG in the end and that is for I need those picture which has a transparent background. Click on the images and as you can see this first picture it doesn't have a transparent background instead it has a white background. Let me show you another picture and that is what you can call a transparent background. And what is the difference between a white and transparent background I will show you later on. You can also click on the tools and go to colors and click transparent and Google will try to show you most of those pictures which has a transparent background just like this one okay so let me make it any color and first of all I will show you that how you can create a work pose animated work pose using this picture However, it has a white background, but let's take this picture, right click on this picture and choose copy image, go to PowerPoint and have a new slide and click paste here. Now what I will do, I will convert this single picture into 8 different pictures and for that I will go to the format tab, click crop and adjust the crop window. just like that now click on the blank area of the slide now select this picture go to format tab again click align drop down button and choose align middle now hold down the shift key and drag and drop this picture to the left of your slide now I will make a duplicate of this picture and for the easy way hold down the control and shift keys and you will see a plus sign with the mouse pointer now just hold down and drag and drop this picture sideways. This vertical red guide is showing an exact position of the next picture. Just drop it here. Now again click on the crop button and just move this picture from, by holding it from the gray area to the left for our second pose. Just like this right here. Now I will repeat the same steps to create more poses and for that select the second picture hold down control shift keys and just drag and drop click the crop button and then adjust the third pose. Make sure the pose fall within the frame. Again control shift drag and drop crop and adjust the picture again crop and just drag and drop it right here a little bit here okay copy crop sixth pose seventh and then the last one Okay, now let me tell you one thing there. If you go to the animations tab and then click add animation, more entrance effect, then you will not find flash once effect here because it is not available in PowerPoint 2016. So what you need to do is you have to take a presentation from the older versions which has a flash once effect 
and for that let's say i will take this presentation and let me drop this tree sideways and this picture has the flash and and this picture has the flash once effect click on the animations tab then open animation pan and you can see that which effect has been applied to this picture and as you can see that it has the flash one effect and the motion path so i will select this picture go to the animations tab then click on the animation painter once then move to your slide and click on the picture on which you want to apply the same animation and as soon as i will click on this picture and open the animation pan and then you can see that it has copied both of the effects to this presentation and on that particular picture so i don't require this motion path here so i will select this and will hit the delete key so i want to apply the same flash one effect on all the pictures so instead of doing flash uh, so instead of doing animation painter from this slide to that slide what i can do i can select this picture on which i have already applied the flash one effect set the delay timing to 0 and now double click on the animation painter and then start clicking on the rest of the pictures and as you can see that it has started copying the same animation on to the different poses that's fine now click the animation painter once to turn it off or you can also press the escape key what i will do i will also copy the first pose here in the end as well i want to repeat this first pose in the end as well so the last thing you have to do is you have to add a delay timing between the poses and from the second pose i will add a delay timing of 0.10 second and will further add a 0.10 second delay to the third pose like that will be 0.10 plus 0.10 and 0.20 okay for the next 0.30 and so on there is no easy way to add a delay timing like this to the multiple of effects at once so you have to do it manually and 0.90 for the last one so now select all the pictures here you can also select the pictures like this or you can press control a key to select all the objects on the slide or you can also go to the home tab click select drop down button and choose select all go to the format tab click align drop down button and choose align center that will arrange all the pictures at one place and if you have cropped all the frames properly then you will start seeing a single picture here now hold down the shift key and drag and drop it right here now if i show you the slide show it will look like this so how smooth will be the walk pose will depend that how many frames you are using more the frames you will use the smoother will be the walk pose so as i was telling you before that what is the difference between choosing a white background pictures or transparent pictures so let's say if i apply a background to this slide a gradient fill then you will start seeing that white background with along with the picture so that will make you stick to use a white background so that is not the right thing to do instead you can choose a transparent picture just like these different poses however they are not aligned properly so i have divided that single picture into eight different poses in the powerpoint using the same technique as i have shown you before so what is the difference right here if i show you the slide show as it has a white background right now but if i choose a format background and apply a gradient fill then you can see that it doesn't matter that which background you choose your character will always look separate from the background that is why i was telling you that to use those picture which has the transparent background